wrap up our week here on Zolak and Bertrand with Kendrick Bourne, who joins us here in Las Vegas. Kendrick! Yes, sir. Great to see you. Great to see you, you guys. Thanks, Zola, thanks, with for a, thanks for my gift. Oh, boy, I out over there. <laughs> hey, we're back in Vegas when I saw you out by the pool. We were, yeah. we were talking before you got hurt. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, uh, man. How you feeling, first of all, with the knee? I'm feeling all right, man. Getting there, man. I'm ahead of schedule. Yeah. Um, just taking it day by day. I'm on a consistent schedule with my PT, so he's got me ahead of schedule, man. I feel like I can run right now. Y'all want to see? What's the timeline on that? Uh, yeah. What is Fast it? So, 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 they you... say, so they say as in like when I could be back. Yeah, when you so, could be back to yeah, where you were a, before. Yeah, they say a full year. So my goal is to play week one. That's my goal. So um, just doing the right things to, to be ready for week one. And uh, just seeing where I'm at and making sure the swelling's down and I can bend it back and hyperextend it uh, fully. So those little details, man. So maybe, maybe about a full year. And I'll, I got hurt week eight, so yeah, I'm not I coming mean, back. I'm kind of coming back week one. Yeah, when it, you, you know, you got hurt in that Miami sideline. I remember uh -huh. that, and sort of that was the, that was the part where it started everything to, to go downhill for the football team. Uh -huh. um, how much how much do you still talk to the guys that are still back there? How do, do you like the fact that Gerard was kept over? So yeah, I definitely keep up with the young guys, yeah. um, Taekwon, Pop, um, Kayshawn, and those guys, DP, and. Uh, mostly my receiver room, you know, we yep. got a group chat that we still kick and keep going. And so just encouraging those guys to keep working hard. And, um, you know, obviously my knee was, was a tough situation. Even Judon and, and Gon Gonzo, we, it was just one of those years, man. Everything was just piling on top of us. So um, just just tell, keep it up with those guys, tell them to keep going and, and just rehab it, man, so I could get back. Hopefully I get back and, you know, can help the team. Back in New England. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you want to be back. That's <laughs> truly. Yeah. Oh, you asked about Gerard. He, yeah. He, um, he, he's, he's the guy. He's the, he's yeah. the right fit. Okay. I, I'm glad they kept somebody in the building that, that understands Belichick and can and kind of uh, go in a new way. You know, there's young players coming in. So I think he's going to gel the room together. Um, you know, guys like McCordy and Slater leaving that. It was just crazy how Belichick left, too. It was like an era was just kind of – it was just – it was time. And I, I love Bill, but Mayo, Mayo is the right fit. Mayo is the right fit. Mm -hmm. Your first year, you had Josh as coordinator. Mm -hmm. Year two, something went wrong. <laughs> and was it, it – Matty P took over Man. Joe Judge's quarterback coach. Man. How problematic was it, not only for the team, but for you personally as a player? Hey, it was rough. I think I think the, the, even the media world and, 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 and the world was – was looking at it too like what's going on and, and we had the same questions too like why and for me personally i, I kind of fell victim to the situation too asking why instead of focusing on myself getting better i uh, struggled in 2022 man so uh, came back in 2023 going hard because circumstance man and i became a better player from the situation but it was just a questionable decision, as we all know, and uh, obviously that oh, was horrible. Out. It's a horrible decision. <laughs> I'll say it for you. I can say it's, it was a terrible decision. And so, so it's just, <laughs> it's just now. So hopefully these these next few years, the new OC I think is a good fit too. Um, I don't know who he is, but um, I think it's different. I think it's different and bringing a West Coast type vibe. And so we'll see how that goes. But it was a crazy choice. What do you What do you like about being a Patriot and playing yeah. in New England? Um. I love the hard work, so I, I really, I really felt good about Bill personally. For me, I loved how he pushed me um, and all those things. But the building itself—it wasn't just Bill; it was the environment itself was very competitive and uh, earn your keep. You know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. best player is going to play, and uh, I respect a, a team like that. You know, it's not about money; it's not about anything. It's the best person that's going to give us opportunity to win is going to play. So that was something I respected most about the organization. So, do you feel as free agency gets closer? Mm -hmm. You're going to need to explore the market. You're going to need to go out there, get offers, because mm -hmm. it's not as easy as just saying, I want to be a Patriot, and then, and sure. then you get the contract. It's not for an sure. easy process. It's a complicated process. It mm -hmm. can get personal. Mm -hmm. Players sometimes get pissed off. Mm -hmm. And here's here's the situation now. You've got an injury yeah. you're coming off of. Mm -hmm. Teams are going to hold that against you. Mm -hmm. They're going to hold your age against you. Yeah. Right? You're about to turn 29. Yeah. So 29 coming off a knee injury. Yeah. And I said, make, that, make your case. That's a great question. So for me, um, it's just about <clears throat> doing everything personally from taking care of my body, obviously taking care of my knee first and foremost. But being in the best shape, I feel like in 2023, I was in the best shape of my life. Um, I could I could play 10 plays in a row and feel really good. So um, just being that person, giving myself the best opportunity, showing teams, you know, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's on my YouTube, that I'm grinding, I'm working, and um, there's a lot left in me. So like you said, I don't know what's going to happen. It's so crazy. Like, I wish I could just be like, yeah, I know where I'm going. I'm coming back, and I know for sure. But it just doesn't work like that, the business, uh, how it goes. So I just – 
figure out what I can control, and that's like being in the best shape, and I think that'll give me the best opportunity. And potentially we could have a new quarterback here mm -hmm. uh, with, the th with the number three pick. There's mm -hmm. guys at the top of the board. He yeah. was a veteran player, and as he mentioned, your, your age. Uh -huh. Would you rather have a veteran guy come in through free agency uh -huh. if you come back as a Patriot, or do you want to work as a rookie? That is a great point. So I'm so in between because you see guys like Brock Purdy now. You never know. It can be the last pick in the draft, and he can be the guy. And, and a lot of the time, the first round guys be questionable. So yeah. And even uh, you go get a vet, you don't know what's gonna happen. So it's just a um, toss up, man. So I like Jaden Daniels. I said it before. Um, I like a Russell Wilson or something, a vet like that. I I love Mac Jones too, though. So y'all know I'm a, <laughs> Mac, I'm a Mac Jones fan, man. Like I I love the guy. So. Um, I think it's just getting the right fit. And I think Mayo and, and Elliot and those guys are going to do a good job of knowing what the right piece is. So we'll see, man. Does it feel like Elliot's the guy? I like, love Elliot. Either. Okay. I love him. He, uh, every day, you know, I just always said what's up to him. He had good energy uh, walking around he the does. building. And uh, I think he, he's going to evaluate very well. Carries himself well. Facts. And he's been around. Facts. Yep. So we'll see, man. I like Vegas is a city. I'm for, enjoying it. city. For Super Bowl City. Yeah. It's, it's played like, in the game. You know it. Uh-huh. Well, I was in Miami. It was crazy. Yeah. And Vegas was, I went to the honors yesterday, man. It was my first Did, time yeah. being there. Shout out to Joe Cardona and, and John Jones. Those guys were up there, yeah. man. It, it was fun. But just the environment and everything out here, the weather sucks. But yeah. <laughs> you don't need to leave the hotel. Just, at all. No. And so it, it's been fun. Man. I've been enjoying it. All right. You don't have to go outdoors here. <laughs> at where, all. Where, where are you train at? What? What? What, oh, good what, question. What state? So I've been in Portland, Oregon. Okay. Yeah, born and wow. raised. And yeah, that's where I stay okay. around, man. You know, buying real estate out there, training. Uh, family's there, so weather kind of sucks there. Too. It does. So I'm, <laughs> I'm used to the rain and wet. And wet. You're right. You still have that round bed that you bought. You bought some oversized yeah, bed. I remember yeah, we, yeah, yeah, I remember we talked it's, to you about that yeah, when you first got here. Yeah, like it's twelve thousand dollar bed or something. It's man. huge. So yeah. my wife, she hates it because so you had old kids. If, in if, it, right? Yeah, yeah, I can have yeah. all my kids in it. So one side, you know, it's so far apart. She does. She sleeps next to me, so she has to climb down. I guess she can step down, and she has to climb all the way down. <laughs> it's very comfortable though. But, I mean, but you've got that room. same problem because I, it happens all the time. I walk into my bedroom and there I get kids. All my kids are all in my bed. bed. I'm like, kids on get the bed. out! <laughs> there's so much the room. There's plenty of room in this house, and you don't need to be in my bed. <laughs> uh, I just had a newborn too, bro. So oh, yeah, bro. no, yeah, going through it, going so you through. You get it. to go back home, get get no sleep. Now. Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> oh, we're gonna no stay no in sleep. Vegas as long as you Man, can, bro. Why is he trying to get me home right now? You get more sleep here. I'm telling you, I have been. She knows, too. <laughs> oh, well, uh, Kendrick, man, best of luck this offseason. Best you, of luck in all the training and the rehab. I know that's that's going to be a lot. How many times a week are you doing that? So I'm actually going five days a week. Yeah. Almost six. So some times I go on Saturdays. But um, if I'm feeling sore or anything like that, just trying to rest it. But I'm really in great progress, man. I'm, I'm actually shocked. You know, I've never been through it before. And just learning how it works. And, and I'm actually shocked how strong I am and being able to flex my quads. So getting these quads strong. And uh, protecting my knee, so I'm getting there. Get out there, do a couple sprints oh. with the cameras <laughs> on before you go. Yeah, Elliot's watching. Let's go. <laughs> hey, thanks for the ice, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, Serge. I appreciate yeah, you. Thank, thank you, you, Thank, thank you, you for being here. Thank you, brother.